Hi, I just received um, a new thing uh, because um, I can't really call that uh, tech. Well, yeah, of course it's tech, but uh, so it's a smart radon detector. Yeah, because um, where I stay, there is a, apparently a lot of radon. I measured that with um, a Geiger counter and it's quite true so I can't do much about it but like um, definitely in my office because I spend a lot of time in the office if I could get a little warning <laughs> I hope it's not gonna be red all the time okay let's check uh, what's in the box so it's uh, from Air Things I, uh, I've heard about it on CS 2017, and I was like, hmm, yeah, sounds like uh, something I should I should get. So it's assembled in Tunisia, made in Norway. <laughs> yeah, let's see what's what's going on. Arrived. Uh, DHL today, so the 3rd of May 2017. That's the machine, it's quite good. There's a little sticker saying read me first, so let's read it. We want to thank you for trusting AirThings. This is not only an investment in you and your family health, this is also helping us build a future where radon detector is a common thing that you can buy in your 7-Eleven. <laughs> um, so, one. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's exactly what I was thinking when I was buying this thing. I really want to make this thing much cheaper and everybody can buy it and if it can mine bitcoins at the same time it would be really good uh, two feature blah 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 okay three install and run setup in app no. power indicator okay show sure, feature and content uh, okay uh, easy to mount what does the color mean So it's already on? No. So how do I turn this thing on? But anyway, they say I have to download the app. Let's get the app. Another app. How many people? 100 downloads. Mm -hmm. Crash often. Many crashes. This will crash your house. Okay. 20 megs up downloading the thingy see very fast internet here <laughs> um, open yeah, things. so I say mount it yeah sure but first I will try it uh, daily use you can Bluetooth this thing yeah, it would be better no? swipe to start so what's radon? Radon is a radioactive gas. It is tasteless, odorless, and can be found anywhere in the world. How does it affect me? Radon gas can slowly seep into your home, sneak into your bed, and through cracks and small opening, and even attack your cats. <laughs> Excessive amount of radon can get trapped inside your home depending on ventilation. It is dangerous. No, is it dangerous? Over time, radon can be very, very be harmful for your health and will increase chances of lung cancer. Hmm. Yeah. Your radon level fluctuate daily and yearly. Long-term monitoring is necessary. What should I do? If letting in fresh air or improving your ventilation doesn't lower radon level, yeah. contact a professional. Get started. Uh, po, 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 po. Don't have an account. Sign up. Name. 
Gilemon. Gillibob. Raiden Hunter. Profession. All right, tech. So I'm hooked. You will now set up your airfing wave. Choose the device you want to set up and follow the instruction. Uh, next. Start pairing. Insert batteries in your device and wait for the blue light to start flashing. If batteries are already inserted, gently knock on the device to enter pairing mode. Okay, so I guess I just don't have any batteries here. Wow, okay, it's magnetic. Okay. So, probably something like, like a smoke detector. Brief easy. But oh, there's some battery. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, magnetic. So it stick to my desk. Okay, so I didn't see that because it's quite dark, but there is a little piece of plastic that stops the battery from working. Yeah. Newbie error. On my side. Uh, and here it goes. Ooh. Instruction, start pairing. Uh, gently knock on the device to enter pairing mode. Knock. Mm. Mm. Spinning, ready to pair. Start pairing. Allow things to access device location. Well, okay, I, I trust the, the, the NORSC people. <laughs> To continue, let your device turn on location using Google Location Service. To continue, let your device turn. Okay. I want to turn Bluetooth on. Hello. Okay. So, connect. Device connected. You are now connected to your AirThings wave. Continue to determine the location of this device. To continue, let your device turn on location using Google Location Service. Okay. In order, in order to provide information about air quality and radon levels specific to your area, we need to know the location you will be monitoring with this device. Share my location. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's home. Yeah. Choose room, office. Okay. Finish pairing. All right. Office paired, done. Done. Okay. Radon is being measured. What does the color mean? Blue. Flashing. White. Waiting for a result. So that's what's happening. Green is good. Yellow is kind of is warning danger. You should. You should leave. Okay, let's wait. Well, right, guys, uh, I have to stop that. Can't just uh, record this forever. So it took much longer than uh, I expected because it's now 9 p.m. It took like um, six hours. Well, it's working for it's it's working since since uh, two hours. So yeah, it took maybe three or four hours. Let's say three or four hours to. To gather information, and uh, it's not that bad actually. Um, I mean, uh, a, a, a good air quality. So, twenty percent, twenty degrees, mm -hmm. makes sense. Forty of radon. I don't know what it means. Uh, Forty-six humidity. Wow, super dry. Hmm. So yeah, that's the app through. Uh, that's how it looks like through Bluetooth can check uh, the history like this and uh, you have also a quick reading by putting your hand like this 
and I would say, am I disappointed that it's green? Uh, meaning like, why should I need that if actually it's good here? Uh, no, I'm happy. I'm very happy. It's good. Good, good, good. I will check if there is other things I should include in this video or not. Otherwise, but um, yeah, um, that's it for the air things wave. Quite good. Quite good. Uh, not that you can compare to uh, other products, but um, yeah. Is it useful? Mm, I guess. Is it uh, well made? Yes. Uh, uh, was it easy to install? Yes. So, yeah. If you worried about your Raiden, you should check it out. Um, so yeah, I decided to try to see some other colors and just uh, green. So I'm trying to see what's happening on the cellar. I put it here, that guy. So I need to understand how. Okay, it's still green. I need to check how to relocate the device. Let's wait for this thing to gather a bit more information and come back and see if I can turn it at least orange. Okay, bye. So after one hour, a bit less than an hour, uh, should have been starting to read, to get some reading and it's still green. Um, ah, that's really, 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 freaking annoying yeah again maybe it's because it's quite early in the morning that I get easily pissed off but um, yeah I would change a bit my uh, my my view on this device because uh, sure everything is there as I said it's a well-made uh, piece of equipment I can't really tell uh, whether it's accurate or not for the Raiden measure, which is an important point because who care about like humidity and temperature? You can do uh, this kind of things with a Raspberry Pi for much much cheaper and um, with much much more um, way of interfacing with it. Because that's where I'm gonna be a, a bit um, less friendly with this device is for how you can interface with it because if the only way to get those measures is like with your your phone through bluetooth and okay that's already quite bad huh? and and wait wait for the end and having access to internet otherwise the app doesn't log in and you're out so how do you read how do you go and measure the Raiden on a mine or even like on the cellar or that kind of area? Because that's exactly where you don't have internet. Uh, so yeah, I was just downstairs trying to get this thing working and uh, no, it didn't because I had no internet connection. So I kind of understand what they want to do with, with this. They want to get your location. That's why I was uh, at the beginning when I installed the app, they kept on asking me about the location, location, location. Um, they want to know your location and then they will they gather the readings and they, I'm sure they're forwarding it to their server to get a database of, uh, of Raiden levels all over the world. But then, uh, no, I mean, like you can do that, but not for a device that costs like 200 euro. Uh, you, you, you find a way to to make it for cheaper or even like, uh, I don't know, like for free or, or, or then for 200 euro you, you make a device that gives you a proper API, you know, like and you don't need internet to get your readings. I don't know, maybe it's because it's a new, a new product, new company, but sure, it's going to help me it's gonna help me uh, check whether a room is uh, radon free or not but um, but yeah no not uh, I don't know yeah I think it's quite limited the usage but um okay have a, have a good day. Bye.